coming through. Yes, coconut oil moisturizer, bitch. Just loving life. Hair just moisturized and ready to braid. Okay, I'm just coming through. Just to kind of talk about the worst show. So I said I was going to review. I said I was going to review Love and Hip Hop New York. I said... I said, I'm coming through with the reviews every week. <clears throat> Why well, I'm acting like that? You know, Jameson the Mad Smooth. This shit is boring. This shit is like boring as fuck. Dot net. Okay, this shit is terrible. Okay. First, Cardi B. I love you, bitch. I really do. I appreciate you on TV with your little eye, your big eye, bitch. Shout out to the little eye, big eye, bitches. Okay, what up? I see you out there talking all gully and wild. I see you and I appreciate your visibility. But, bitch, why they let you come on TV with DJ self and play, like, fight, bitch? You know what I mean? Like, that shit kind of weird to me. Like... Why the fuck is you fight, bitch? And it ju the show just started. Like, wh what? And for all y'all asking, I think Cardi B was wrong as fuck. I don't think she should have hit uh, Yorma. Because real talk, though, if you know that your side dude got a, got a main, um, if you know that he being weird, you just don't do that shit. Like, what's the point? What is the point? At the end of the day, it seems like their relationship is really just business and they fuck for pleasure, okay? They have a business relationship and they fuck for pleasure. Why is you fighting his main? And main, Yorma. Hold up. Yorma, girl. Love yourself, bitch. Love yourself. Because I don't know how the fuck this nigga got you in an Uber XL telling the driver, driver, please put on uh whatever the fuck, dot, whatever the fuck. My man is trying to apologize to me to millions and millions, thousands and thousands, hundreds and hundreds of people. And so I'm kind of just like, <sighs> you're my, like, I was getting anxiety when I was watching that scene. I was like, uh, bitch. Because it's like, you know, the show is shot way before. We see it, you know? So, like, randomly one day on motherfucking, on the damn show, he over here apologizing to somebody, and it was not news. It's still not news, ma. It sucks, but it's, it's like, damn. You got your ass beat for nothing. You got your ass beat by a co-worker of your man's, and he, all he could do is do the daddy yell. You know how when niggas be, be parenting, they be like, hey, hey, hey. They don't want to say really too much. They want to do too much. They don't want to exert too much energy. So they be like, hey, 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 hey. They just do a hey. Like a loud ass, gruff ass hey. Or yo, yo, yo. Uh, uh. Like, that's all you could really do when I'm getting my ass beat? Yorma, where's your people? Where's your people? Because, real talk, if Cardi would have whooped my ass, my man wouldn't have helped. I would have play played like everything was coup de la. And I would have been like, you know what? Let me uh, let me make dinner for you and your friend. I want to meet your friend. And I would have had them come to my fucking house. And I would have beat that ass with a fucking spatula. I would have fucked her ass up with all my kitchen utensils. I would have beat her ass on my own motherfucking terms. But no. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think you're always going to sit there and pretend like everything's coup de la. Just to get fucked up again. I feel like someone's gonna fuck her up again. I feel like if you get your ass beat this early in the season, it's gonna happen again. It's foreshadowing for a worse ass whooping. That's how I feel. Mariah Lynn. Bitch, why am I feeling your song? Honestly, I am not here for white bitches rapping. But I do like that song, uh, I Was a Ho. Or, or, a long, or, or Once Upon a Time Not Long Ago. I Was a Ho. And I'm a man I Was a Ho. Uh, did a chat, you know what I mean? Like, I like that shit. I like the song. It is bomb. Um, but I also like that the delicious. I like it a lot. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. Um, I think, you know, because people are so shady and they want to talk about motherfucking, they want to compare music to new of new artists that just came the fuck out to old artists or artists of the past. What the fuck is you doing? There's there's not going to be music of the past anymore. And any music that sounds, sounds like the past is a sample, bitch. And then stole it and then it made it into some newer shit. And maybe you like it, maybe you don't. I'm just so sick of people coming for new artists. Like, let people breathe. Bad bitches on deck. That shit is cool. When have we seen two bitches since Salt and Peppa? No tea. Or, uh, 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 
Diddy, Diddy, Dirty Money, or Dirty Money, or some shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what, like it's rare that we see two black women like sharing the stage together and bringing it. It's very rare. So I feel like to hate on folks that are clearly just starting out, clearly just getting their shit together, it's kind of like, bitch, you know what? Like, you was probably the one hating on fucking Beyonce when she was little and she got fucking all, like kicked off Star Search or didn't didn't win to those white people who was random as fuck. It's like, if you really gonna shit on people in the beginning of their fucking career, you really not trying to set it up to see for them, and that's fine. But go somewhere else. Go somewhere the fuck else. Don't see it for them somewhere else. Let these people live, okay? I, like, Mariah Lynn... <sighs> I'm conflicted because I like the song, but I don't fuck with you. You know what I mean? But you made the song. So it's like, you know, peace and blessings. I hope don't manifest, but I hope that everything is okay with you in your life as much as it can be. Now, Marilyn, I you know I'm going to have to come for you, bitch, real quick. Why is you fucking with Moniz? I'm scared of Moniz. Like, as a regular person, like, I'm scared of that bitch. I feel like she would really kill your ass if you ever tried her. So I feel like... Don't even mess with it. Let her live. Don't come for her. And then, you know, her coming for you over rich dollars or whatever. I don't know if this is fake or real. I'm not sure. Like, I, I and that bothers me because who's fighting for rich dollars? Rich dollars low key is the Grim Reaper of the shits. If Grim, if, if Grim Reaper, if fucking, if rich dollars is in your scene, bitch, you're leaving the show very soon. Erica Mena got to hold on for a little bit for her life. She got to hold on. For a little bit and that's because she had her little fake gay storyline or her little bisexual storyline that's what the fuck ha helped her pop not rich dollars not getting rich dollars tattooed on her that was silly like that nigga is here to let you know that your 15 minutes is up and he's like the uh, official your 15 minutes is up and you on the franchise for only another few seconds so please make it count bitch and then boop you're gone johnny blaze bitch you only lasted one fucking season girl you fought so many bitches for what you fought so many times. For what? Nothing. Because Rich Dollars is the Grim Reaper of the shits. Peter Gunn's Amina Tara storyline look is very clear that Tara is pregnant. It's also seemingly happening this week that we're finding out that Amina got an abortion. Cute. I don't have anything else to say. This shit is whack. Goodbye.